Just a wee quick one today, I was speaking to uh, an old friend of mine and we got talking about martial arts and he had tried, I think it was karate and a bit of jiu-jitsu tried for a while and then he packed it in because it, he said it wasn't working in real life situations. Nothing's going to work unless you practice it. We, we start with a conscious analytical mind when we're training in any skill in life. But it has to go from this mind into the the body mind. It has to uh, turn into um, muscle memory, as they, they would say, muscle memory. So it's like boxing. You can you can train on the bags. You can hit the bags, the pods, you know, Thai box, anything. But unless you've practiced it way beyond the first and second stage of practice, it's not going to come out of your body especially under pressure. So this is why we need to practice repetition, repetition, and then add pressure to the repetition where somebody's trying to prevent you or put you in a situation where there's stress to notice what comes out. And what will come out is what you've practiced the most. It's like, um, <laughs> I suppose, walking or running. Um, you know, if you're attacked by a dog, you don't have to think about it. You just take off. So again, and and again, you'll you'll understand this if you practice a martial art. Most beginners will ask you, "What would you do if somebody done this? What would you do if somebody done that?" And I usually turn around and say, "I don't know," until I'm punched in the face or jumped. <laughs> you don't know. Whatever you've practiced will come out. So just keep up with your practice, be patient, and um, it, it will sink in after a while. It's like riding a bicycle. There's no shortcuts, really. There's no secrets. There may be secrets, but I don't know too many of them. Um, so just a thought for today. So keep up your practice, especially you beginners out there. See you all soon.